Dante. I'm back here again. It's been a hot minute since I've been doing the podcast, but I was busy with basketball, football season over, got to see a lot of good football players. We're going to jump back into the podcast, try to do this every week again, and I'm here at Moorville High School with the guy that caught my eye the minute I showed up to practice, Wyatt McDaniels, freshman here at Moorville High. Thanks for joining me, man. Thank you for having me. So, man, let's. I'm. I'm gonna just get into it. When I spoke to Coach Young, when I want to come out and do like a um, hard knocks with you guys, uh, I pulled up and I saw you just rocking that thing, man. That spiral was beautiful. Was hitting the receiver right there. What got you to be able to throw the ball like that? Well. You know, quarterback's been the position I've played my whole life. You know, but, you know, occasionally I'd go over to defense and play a little bit of linebacker, but it's been mainly quarterback. And uh, with playing two sports, having to really uh, find the difference between throwing a baseball and a football was hard for me early on. But the more I learned the difference between the two, the better I got. Made football just – it was more about letting it spin out of your hand instead of staying behind it. I mean, it – it just everything was positive from it. It helped my arm gain gain arm strength and just helped me all around. Definitely, definitely. First game, Hatley. First game playing varsity as a freshman, which is a huge step up. Oh yeah. How did it feel that first game of the season? I mean there were there were definitely some ner- nervous energy, uh, especially with it being my first varsity start. But uh you know, I, I had faith in the guys. Like, you know, I had all the confidence in the world in what we were doing, our game plan. We've got great coaching, great coaching staff, uh, great great players. We could move all around the field, do whatever we want. And uh, I mean, it just felt great being able to get a win right there. So that first game, I think it was um, three touchdowns in the air, like 200 yards passing, 90 or so on the ground, and one rushing touchdown, more or less, right? About it. Yeah. <laughs> First start, man. That's pretty. That's pretty hot. Yeah. So you a two sport athlete. I just rode up. Are you coming out of baseball practice? Um, how do you feel about that? Do you have one that's pulling you more than the other one? Yeah. So growing up, baseball was the first thing I was really introduced to first. So I've been doing that since you know four years old. T ball. Uh, you know, it's, it's the thing I know and love, and it, I'm always it's, it's going to be my first love. You know, it's going to be that's what it's going to be. But I still, I definitely love football. Got introduced to that around first grade. You know, uh, you know, playing quarterback and just being able to get to do, you know, have all the aspects from that sport. And you know, certainly do love both. But baseball, I feel like that's my calling. Okay, hopefully you go the football route, man. That's my. That's just my view. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely love it. It's both both sports have a you know have a good pull on me, but I just just baseball just so electric. You know, it's it's the atmosphere I want to be in. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And you like history has shown us you can play both. We've had good athletes, Bo Jackson, oh yeah, Deion Sanders. You know, so that's pretty cool. So tell me, what's the um, game day prep for? Let's say baseball first. What's your game day prep on baseball? I just I just like to keep it real simple. I don't try to do too much, you know, focus on getting a good night's rest the night before and wake up and, you know, have a good breakfast. Just kind of not get too caught up in the game. Just kind of focus on just having fun and not stressing about it too much or anything like that. Uh, you know, just real simple. Anytime I get to go out here and compete, it's always a great time. So it's nothing to really be – worried about so i just like to come out here and have fun with my brothers that's cool that's cool now football kind of take the same routine well now there's definitely a lot riding on you as a quarterback but i I mean it's real similar real similar just like to not think about it too much just kind of get my mind off the game a little bit and then when it comes game time i get in the zone you know definitely definitely so i had a guy from saltillo baylor roberts and we talked about the pitching clock. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You know, I mean, it's it's got its pros and cons, obviously. You know, you want the games to, you know, get along quicker. You don't want 
you know, long drawn out innings and stuff like that. But uh, still want guys to be able to have freedom. And as a hitter, I know that I want I want some freedom in the box, and especially you know when the pitcher has to get right back up there on the mound and deliver a pitch, you kind of just get rushed a little bit, and that's the last thing you need as a hitter. So it's not that big a deal to me. I feel like if I had to play with something like that, it wouldn't be too hard to adjust. Cool, cool. Last year everything's going good. You guys, I believe, were undefeated up until your injury, right? That's right. Yep. So. Take me through that. Take us through that. What happened that caused you to have that injury? Yeah, so it was the first drive. We were It was our sixth game. We were 5-0, and and it, like I said, first drive against Smithville. And uh, took the snap, and it was a passing play. I ran out the pocket and was scrambling a little bit and made the decision to kind of go try to score because we were in the red zone. And uh, cause that's, that's the kind of the moment where I kind of had a little bit of a tunnel vision moment you know I just straight towards the end zone that was kind of my men- that's kind of my mentality when I'm playing football just you know like you lay the hit and you don't get hit yeah and uh sure enough their biggest guy the middle linebacker sitting there waiting for me at the goal line and I lower my shoulder and I put a lick on him I put a <laughs> lick on him now but I mean he something had to give and that my shoulder yeah do you feel your surgery went well I feel like you kind of bounced back I feel like it it went great. I'm, I'm going through the rehab process now, and I mean, just nothing but positive out of it. Physical therapy was great. Just working on getting it stronger, and uh, sooner or later, maybe get back out, ready to pitch again. And, uh, should be good for opening day for baseball. Cool, cool. Now, a couple of the journalist media here, they named you one of the freshman athletes of our area. How did it feel to get that title? Yeah, man, that, that, that's just a blessing to be able to receive something like that. I didn't even really know they were giving out stuff like that. But uh, just praise coaching staff wouldn't be there with it, with it wasn't for them. You know, all, my, all the players, you know, offensive line, receivers, and everybody, it's all one big, one big part of the puzzle, you know. Uh, wouldn't be able to do it without them. Yeah, that's facts, man. Big time, big time. Going into this year, maybe let's say football. What are some improvements you have set for yourself? Maybe Coach Young has said, hey, Wyatt, this sophomore year, this is what we want to work on. Yeah, there's a couple of things. Uh, you got to get quicker with everything, you know, whether that's decision-making or reads or, you know, delivering the ball where it needs to be. Everything needs to be quicker. That's the bottom line. And, uh, like, the the football IQ kind of part of it. So using my injury as an example, you know, quarterback, any quarterback knows not to initiate contact. And that's where I got to learn to be smarter and make better decisions to, you know, avoid big contact hits like that. Yeah, man, that's, 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 <laughs> that's so true. Cause you see like guys, NFL quarterbacks who like contact, but yep. It's something going to give eventually, you know? Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. And I know, like, watching you last year, man, you two games I saw you guys played well. I think one game you scrambled, you threw an interception. But, man, that's just being 14. Yeah, you that gotta, was. <laughs> you so got a long that, way. That was that East Union. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember that. That was – I was trying to make something out of nothing. I think I ended up Derek Jeter in that. <laughs> I jumped up. I jumped up and just threw it to. I was in between two receivers, and I said, "Surely one of them will catch it." And I threw it right where they weren't, right towards their corner. Yeah, so. yeah. But that's man. Like I, I kept like when I was in the booth with some of the announcers or PA announcer. It's kind of like, man, this guy's fourteen. He still got Definitely. way ahead, and for him to be playing at the level he's playing at now. That's really, really, really impressive. Really impressive. So when I came out to see you guys at that first practice, I met Eli Hussey. Mm-hmm. Dirty, yep. you know, they call him. So talk about that connection, man, because there was big games. He had 100 yards, 200 yards. How was it playing with him this year? It It's always great to have a guy like him. He's a great athlete. Uh, 
he had a real knack for finding open grass. You know, he could run, get behind them corners that were trying to guard him real easily, and it was just a bomb. He could, he could make moves and just, like I said, find open grass, and that's what you need, especially with, like, the improvising part of the game where he's just moving around. So, like, if the play goes south, you can count on him being open. Exactly. Kind of like Travis Kelsey, huh? Yep. yep. <laughs> Very similar. Is he, he'll be a senior this year? He's graduating this year. He's, he's graduating. Senior. Yep. So he's moving on. You're going to be missing that target next oh, yeah. year. Yeah. We still got some guys, though, that I feel like kind of grow into their roles and be big time players, similar to what he was. Cool, man. Cool, cool. Game day, first baseball. What's your song? I don't really know. It's 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 a broad topic. I like to I like to listen to a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, I try not to. I try to balance it between like a country, just kind of a chill type of song, or uh, sometimes I like to go heavy, you know, rock music. But that's that's my go-to country or rock. Okay. Just kind of get me in the zone. Football, same. Very similar. More probably football more leaning toward the rock side. Yeah. Just to get me <laughs> get, just to get me fired up, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So I'm looking right here. Um state champs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So won nine state championships and it seems like a baseball school that has had a lot of success. Right. Not so much football, like maybe thinking about starting off the year. Last year I read y'all hadn't won a game. And so this year y'all went nine and four. How did that feel? It was it was awesome being able to go out there and do that. Uh you know. I knew coming in that I would have a big role on this team. You know. I took leadership in turning the ship around, you know what I mean? Just working. I I was always trying to build everybody up and you know help the guys work. Continue to work hard each and every week leading up to the games, and they just kind of it was a momentum builder. And after game one against Hatley, it built on East mm -hmm. Union, South Pontot. You know, it just it was a great great experience to be able to do that with those guys. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully build off that next year, right? Definitely. Yep. For sure. Looking forward to it. So now we're going to get into some quick hits, man. Um, favorite place to eat in Tupelo? I would have to say Mexican restaurant right down the road, El Vera Cruz. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would love me some good Mexican. Okay, okay. Um, favorite, basketball, favorite baseball athlete? You know, growing up, I was a big fan of the Cubs. Okay. You know, their 2016 run where they won the World Series. And, yeah. Uh, I like guys that play my position. Okay. And uh, I'm all over the field, you know, catcher, third base, outfield, pitcher. But I like Chris Bryant a lot. Yep. You know, MVP that year. Yeah, man. And uh, guys like JT Romito behind the plate for the Phillies. I love watching him. He's got the best arm in the game. And uh, just love seeing guys like that. Now, football, how about that? Same thing. Guys that play my position, you know, quarterbacks like Josh Allen. Okay. You know, big guys, you know. Big arm, yep, yeah. Yep. Patrick Mahomes, very similar. Yes. Yeah. That's my guy, man, Patrick Mahomes. I, I mean, it's funny. He's uh, He's from the town next to where my wife grew up. Oh, that's cool. And it's called White House. It's near Tyler, where she's from. And I remember seeing about him, and my biggest regret is not going to watch him in high school. I was, yeah. That would have been cool, you know, watching him make, it that, make that jump. Oh, yeah. So last thing, maybe a little crazy, but imagine you stuck on an island, and you're going to get dropped one movie you got to watch on replay. What you, what, what, what's that movie you're going to put on? Oh, goodness. Uh I would pick like a good sports movie, kind of like a like a Remember the Titans, okay, you know, like that. That would be a good one to watch. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Remember yeah. the Titans, man. That's for sure. That's for sure. Wyatt, man, 
this has been dope. Thanks for joining me. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing your junior. If you guys have not heard about this young man, he's going to be a, a perennial star in our area in the North Mississippi. For football, at least, I have not had a chance to see him play baseball. I'm sure he's a great baseball athlete, but he's got big things coming his way. Thanks for joining me, man. We're going to keep it going. In the meantime, what's your sport, Tay? Talk to y'all soon.